Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today we're gonna talk about what I think is the best Nintendo 64 USB controller for Nintendo 64 emulators. Now on this channel, I've already done other videos that explain how to set up and use a Nintendo 64 emulator that I recommend, how to install the games, and also how to set up custom mapping on a USB controller. In that previous video, I show how to use a wired Nintendo Switch controller, which is one that I really like for a variety of my different emulators for different consoles. But with the Nintendo 64 controller having these C buttons, there are certain games that these C buttons are utilized more than others, and you need this six button layout on top in order to play games a little easier. This N64 controller I picked up on Amazon for $16. It's super affordable and pretty awesome. It's exactly the same size and same shell as the original Nintendo 64 controller. However, it is a little bit more plasticky. It does not feel super rugged. So if you drop this, it does feel like it has a high probability of getting broken or damaged a lot easier than original N64 controllers. But for 16 bucks, this thing is really awesome. It has a six foot USB cable with a type A on the end. And it even has the open slot for the rumble packs, but it doesn't actually have the connections for a rumble pack. So you actually won't be able to use them. But the design, the response from the buttons, everything is very tactile, very responsive. It's actually really awesome. And they have different colors available as well. So you don't have to get the original gray or just this black. They have various colors, but I personally really like the black. So let me show you guys now how to connect it to the emulator and how to custom map the buttons on here. It's the same as in the other video, but I'm gonna show you guys here just so that way you guys make sure that you get it on point. Now, if you don't already know how to actually use a Nintendo 64 emulator and how to set it up, definitely watch that other video and then come back to this video so you can see how to map this controller. So once you have your USB cable for the controller hooked up to your CLDAY adapter that goes to your Android device, then straight from there, it actually starts working. But again, like in the previous video, I have to show you guys how to actually map the buttons to work with the layout of the original Nintendo 64. So everything plays properly. So let's say I wanna use this controller on the Super Mario 64 game. I click on the game, then scroll to settings. Now we're gonna scroll down to controller and then from there, we have right now currently the controller one on the switch that we already programmed before. But now we're gonna go ahead and click on controller one. And instead of using the switch controller that we already programmed, let's go to manage profiles. And then here you have two that I've already programmed before. Go to the plus sign at the top that says new. And then from there, we're gonna call this N64 and then click next. And then for the description, I'm gonna call this OG for original. Okay, so now here we have the button layout for the original N64 and we have to click on one of those to program on the controller. So I'm gonna go to the directional pad first, click up, now up on the directional pad of the controller. Right on the directional pad, right on the directional pad of the controller. Down, down, left, left, L, L, R, R, Z, which is back here by the joystick, Z, start, start, up on the joystick, up on the joystick, right on the joystick, right on the joystick, down, down, left, left, B, B, A, A, left C, top C, right C, down C. And that's how simple it is to map this controller to the N64 emulator. Go ahead and click back, go ahead and click back. And then now go to controller one where it says switch is selected. Click on that again. And now go ahead and select the N64 controller. And then now you'll see the updated. Now controller one is using the N64 profile. Go back, back. And then now we can go ahead and launch the game and play with this controller. Yep, and everything works just as good as the OG. Oh man, I love this. It feels awesome. So dope, it's so dope. There are many different companies that sell Nintendo 64 USB controllers, but this one 
is one of the highest rated on Amazon. And after personally using it, I've really enjoyed it. I love it. Now for the N64, this is the only controller I use on this emulator. It retails for only 16 bucks. And I do have a link in the description where you can purchase this one from this company, as well as the other colors that they have available. And using that link doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.